If you watched my last video, then you'd already know that I'm planning on starting university this year, which is so exciting and a completely new chapter for me because I haven't studied in like three years ever since I finished school. So I've decided that this is a year that I want to go back into education and kind of further my skills. And I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are either still at school, like high school, primary school, or you're actually at university studying as well. So I thought I'd do a video that would be helpful for not only myself, but also for you guys. So today's video is all about how to make your university life slash your school life much easier. And this video is actually sponsored by Logitech and they've asked me to come up with a bunch of shortcuts to kind of make your life easier when you're at university or school. So I've done a bunch of research and found some really cool shortcuts that I wanna share with you guys that honestly, I had no idea about before I did this research and I think it will make your life a whole lot easier and mine. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. But now I'm just gonna get into explaining all of the shortcuts that I've discovered and of course I'm gonna test them to make sure they actually work because I don't wanna give you false information. So let's just get into the video. So I'm sure majority of you guys who are currently in education have some sort of workplace area at home to work from whether it be like a desk or a kitchen table and obviously when you have like all of your work there and you're constantly writing on it and have stuff everywhere sometimes you can inevitably get scratches and stuff on your work surface so apparently a way to get rid of the scratches is to rub vinegar and oil on your desk and then it should completely get rid of them and I also discovered if you guys don't have those ingredients you can try rubbing a walnut on your desk and apparently that's supposed to get rid of the scratches as well which I think is so weird but so interesting. So I tried using the walnut to rub out the scratch on the desk and it didn't really work too well so I decided to use the olive oil and vinegar on a paper towel and this actually worked really well as you can see. This next shortcut will be really helpful for you guys who need to read a textbook or like a novel by a certain deadline. So if you need to figure out how long it will take you to finish reading a book, you can actually type the title into a website called howlongtoreadthis.com and then it should tell you the estimated time. So all you need to do is type in the name of the novel, I Wrote the Girl on the Train. So then you'll get this extract from the book on the side and you've got to press start reading timer and then read that little extract and then once you finish reading it, stop the reading timer and based on that information it will calculate how long it would take you to read the book. So as you guys know this video is sponsored by Logitech and they encourage you guys to use their MX Anywhere 2S which is this amazing mouse that has a bunch of shortcuts and makes your life a ton easier if you're at university or school. It's portable so you can just put it in your backpack, take it to university, pull it out anywhere and it's so easy to use. So I'm gonna share a bunch of my favorite shortcuts with you guys now. So the software is super easy to download onto your laptop and once you've opened it up, you'll see all of the settings that you can customize. You'll see the gesture button, the left scroll, the right scroll, and the forward and the back button. So here's a list of the options that you can choose to customize your gesture button and you can do this for all of your individual buttons. They've got a bunch of different things that you can do as you can see. One option that I really like and I think is super helpful is Windows navigation and this just allows you to slide from one desktop to another super easily. So another really cool feature that the mouse has is hyper scroll which basically allows you to scroll through a document super super fast which is super helpful if you've got like a big excel document or you've got to read through a textbook and need to get to a certain part. However if you want to go at normal speed you can just click the scroll in and it should just go like normal and make that clicky sound as you scroll it. Another useful shortcut that this mouse allows you to do is zoom in. All you need to do is press the gesture button and then move the mouse according to where you want to zoom. You can also move it to the left and the right as well so you can move across the screen and I just like think this is a really cool feature. So this next shortcut I think is super helpful if you've just written an essay and you want to know if it makes sense. So pretty much instead of taking the time to read it yourself you can copy and paste your essay into Google Translate and then it will read it out for you and sometimes when you hear someone else read it out for you it helps you notice mistakes that you may not have heard before like grammar mistakes or you might have misspelled a word or something just might not make sense at all so I really recommend doing that. So this next shortcut I think is so cool and really helpful and I honestly did not know of it before I did my research but I think this could help a lot of you guys out. So I don't know about you guys but when I was at school sometimes I would write an essay and go to print it out and realize that I had no black ink left. I would have colored ink but just not black ink and then sometimes I would have to go out and purchase some last minute and it was just like a little bit stressful. But I discovered that if you highlight your text and turn it into a really dark blue and then print it out, it looks pretty much the same as black ink. And of course it's using your colored ink, not your black one. So 
you don't have to go out and purchase a whole new black ink. So for you guys who love being in education and want to do more courses to learn more but just can't really afford it, there's actually a website called Coursera.com that has heaps of free courses that you can do. And I was amazed when I found this out because I honestly did not know this existed before I did my research but there are hundreds of different courses that you can do on there. The only catch is that you don't actually get a certificate unless you pay for the course, but some of the courses are still really cheap to get a certificate. But either way, if you're just like really into learning and want to like broaden your knowledge on a certain topic, you can still just do the course and learn all the things, but just not get a certificate. So there are courses on there from like so many top universities from all around the world. Mind you, they're not all free. And that's one thing that I found really hard to kind of distinguish because I was confused as to which ones were free and which ones weren't. So I actually found a website that says all the ones that are free. So I'll link that down below in case you guys want to check it out. So these next few shortcuts are aimed at people who go to university and obviously wear their own clothes and don't have too much of a budget to keep buying new clothes. So I thought I'd share a few shortcuts to help you guys out here. Obviously they're not necessarily going to be relevant for people at school because you have a uniform, but still I think they'll help you out in your everyday life anyway. So I understand that sometimes buying jeans can be quite expensive, but they are definitely a necessity and definitely a necessity for uni because they're just an easy thing to wear every single day. But I know sometimes jeans can be quite annoying and some things can go wrong, like your zipper won't go up to the top and it just always wants to unzip. This has definitely happened to me before and a way that you can stop this is by getting one of those like circle key rings and just hooking it around the zip and then when you pull it up, just hook the key ring over your button and then that will hold them up. So this next shortcut is to stop you guys from going out and buying more pairs of thongs when yours break because that actually is quite an easy fix, well a temporary fix I guess you could say, to stop you from having to go out and get a new pair like straight away. So something I always manage to do with my thongs is accidentally pull the strap through the hole and then I can't put it back in without it coming back out and they're basically like ruined. So a way that you can reuse your thongs for a little bit longer is to actually use a bread clip. So all you need to do is thread your strap back through the hole and then put your bread clip on the bottom. You'll see what I mean when I demonstrate, but that will stop the strap from coming back through the hole. This next shortcut saves you a lot of time from going out and buying like special organizers to organize your cables. So pretty much if you've got a lot of cables and they're just kind of all scattered everywhere, what you can actually do is get some bulldog clips. I'm not sure if that's what you call them in other countries, but that's what we call them in Australia. And you could clip them onto the side of your desk and then just loop your cable through it and this will just really help organize your cables. So they are all of the shortcuts that I have to share with you guys and now I'm gonna get on to explaining how you can potentially win $5,000 in cash to pay off some of your student debt. So pretty much Logitech and I want to hear one of your favorite shortcuts. It can be from my video or it can be one that you use in your personal life. We just want to hear the most creative shortcut and whoever we think has the best shortcut will be crowned the winner and will win $5,000 in cash so make sure you go and check out the link in my description to see all the information there so i really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you're a newbie to uni like me make sure to comment down below and we can chat together and if you're already at university comment down below what course you're studying because i'd be super interested but if you did enjoy today's video please remember to give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and i'll see you guys in my next one bye